Thanks so much, guys. I'm here with Stanislaw to talk about week three of Blast. Uh, you guys have not played a LAN in a long time. Are you worried that you're going to go out like Astralis? I'm not worried. I'm just kind of excited. We, like you said, we haven't played a LAN in a long time, and it's finally uh, time to get back into the groove of things. We've had a boot camp under our belt now, and we're just ready to go. Yeah, I want to talk about that, but, um, you know, Astralis, they lost to Complexity, then they lost to Navi. Close match and they started to uh, get the ring rust off a little bit, but it's their first land back after a while. They ended the year strong. You guys have a similar story. Do you worry about the fact that you're playing uh, with a crowd and you played a lot of scrims and stuff like that, but are you worried about coming back and playing with a crowd? I'm not too worried. It might be tough to start really strongly like we have in the past, but I think as soon as we get back in the server, it's going to come back to us quickly. It's like kind of, It's kind of like riding a bike, right? You kind of forget about the atmosphere as soon as you start playing and then you just feel the game and that's what we're going to do we practice hard all week for this tournament and hopefully it shows how was your what was your boot camp like where were you how many games did you play what kind of teams were you playing against boot camp was intensive i don't want to reveal too much obviously but we scrimmed pretty much all day every day we reviewed afterwards we played tier one teams tier three teams just a large variety fixed our map pool and we're just feeling ready you fixed your map pool okay so i would say last year coming into the end of last year you guys at one of the strongest map pools, if not the strongest map pool of anybody else, are you? What is the goal for 2020 with the map pool? What can you tell us? I mean, go, goal for 2020 for the map pool is just to be prepared. Um, it's not really a great feeling to go into a veto with a disadvantage if a team knows your perma bands. So we just made sure that for this year we're just going to be prepared on everything, and that way we can just play to our strengths and their weaknesses. So that's all it's about. Is there anything that you need to do this year? to continue on with that positive win record that you had versus Astralis on a few maps that you like that you need to bring into this year to keep that going was that a focus of the boot camp like what, did you have targets in mind or there weren't specific targets it's just about feeling as prepared as we can be uh, in terms of competing with Astralis again and the likes of other top teams like Liquid and Mouse Sports we're just going to make sure that we're practicing hard enough because last year we definitely uh, attended too many events which led to lack of practice and here we're going to take our time and make sure we go to each event prepared uh, to the maximum level. So we're just gonna hopefully hit that level, be playing as much as we can, and hopefully show our true selves. Jet lag is not a meme, guys. I just like to put it out there. We do, we go through it. Everybody goes through it. I know you guys only care about the finished product, but jet lag is not a meme. Okay, but for you guys, I want to know: in North America right now, you came into a period of time where Liquid are also at like full strength. You guys in Liquid battling to both kind of take down Astralis, be number one in the world. Where do you see Liquid in terms of competition or as competition compared to other top European teams? Liquid's always been up there. They've been, obviously for us, we've uh, them being in the same region, we might know them a little bit better, but I still think they've always been up there with the likes of Astralis. And now you have new contenders like Mouse Sports. And we were up there last year, but we've obviously fallen off. So we're just going to work as hard as we can to get back up there. Mm -hmm. Um, and for this, this past year, how has it been playing on EG? This is probably the strongest roster that you've played on and a, a roster that it feels like you're not anywhere close to kind of making a change in like a team that seems very strong. What's your, your experience been like with EG as an org and what can you say negative or positive about your teammates on this team? I'm not going to say anything negative about my teammates. I love them all. They're incredible players and great friends to me. Um, we've, I've had a great support system, not only with my teammates, but with the managers and everything that EG has given us. Um, they give us boot camps and whatever we need to flourish in the game, they've provided. So we're all just really happy to be on EG. Uh, we've had a lot of discussions uh, with ourselves, and we strongly believe that if we just keep our five together for a long time, then we're going to reach a level that has never been seen before for our own selves. Uh, we want to reach that level that Astralis has reached, right? And uh, there's just a longevity and an appreciation for that longevity if you can just stick it out through the tough times and not really make a change. Because we know we're all talented enough, as, and we just need to figure out how to um, have a really good cohesion and have a consistent high level at all the time. One thing you told me a long time ago that I, I always remember and, and pair it on the desk was that for an IGL, you have no excuse. You've got to spend just as much time practicing your individual level as you do practicing and preparing with the team, meaning IGLs work harder than anyone else on the team. But is that something that still you maintain in your philosophy? Is that something that you think about when you are preparing since you have to do so much other work besides just playing yourself? I think we all actually prepare pretty equally. Um, I think 
Chet probably does the most amount of work for us because he's the one that watches the demos and all that. But in terms of game plan, I, I step in and I work with him on that. And then with the team, we, we all just have to make sure we're on the same page. And in order to do that, to, in order to be on the same page with all your teammates, you all have to work together and brainstorm and just talk about a lot of different scenarios. And that just means everyone has to work hard. What's your favorite cereal? <laughs> favorite cereal? Uh, it's going to be a throwback. I don't, I'm not sure. Everywhere else it's called Cocoa Puffs, but in Canada we have it Nesquik, right? Oh, yeah. No, good option. I like that. I mean, that besides Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Thank you so much, guys, and uh, take it back. I, I hope you guys can unpack something from there.